let's get uh, our panelists to introduce themselves briefly in a couple of sentences. So Abdel Kader, if you could start by introducing yourself very briefly. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, I am Abdelkader Bakouj, uh, process engineer and the head of uh, solar heat department in the National Agency of Energy Conservation. I work in the uh, NMN since 2001 and I am a renewable energy and energy efficiency expert and lead auditor uh, uh, 50,001, uh, so that's all. And uh, thank you again for inviting me to speak in this webinar. Thank you, Abdel Kader. And uh, Fatima, could you please introduce yourself briefly and get ready to uh, present? Because you'll be the, the first to present. Hello, everybody. I am uh, Shihab Fatem Zahra. I am uh, animation analyst from the Moroccan solar cluster and uh, I will talk today about the potential of the concentrated solar heat in Morocco. I want to thank you Carlos and uh, Ata for, uh, for the opportunity that you let us uh, to organize this webinar and for uh, your interest for this team. Thank you very much. Thank you very much Fatima. So, um, well, whenever you are ready, start sharing your screen and uh, start with your presentation. And uh, for those of you who arrived a little bit late, just a small reminder. So you will get the uh, video recording and the presentation slots. Um, so, um, well, back in that, over to you. Uh, today, I'm going to present the opportunities of Morocco for industrial application of CSP and uh, CSH. Uh, today, the Moroccan energy situation is pushing for a diversification of energy sources, uh, a sharp rise of energy consumption, uh, an energy mix that is uh, predominantly fossil, and energy dependence on oil and gas imports. As you can see in this uh, pie chart, the distribution of primary sources in Morocco. Morocco have uh, established ambitious, uh, amb an ambitious strategy to all the technologies with a role for the CSP, providing dispatchable green electricity, meeting the needs of the national operator. Uh, in uh, 2009, uh, uh, there was uh, an objective to to uh, to reduce the energy import from uh, ninety five percent to eighty five percent. From two thousand and nine to two thousand and twenty, uh, Morocco produced forty percent its electricity needs via solar energy, and there was an energy increase of forty two percent of renewable energy. Morocco, Morocco's aims is to uh, achieve 52% of renewable uh, power installed by 2030. For integrated project development, uh, for uh, as far as uh, electricity production concern, there are minimum of uh, there are aims of 52% uh, capacity. For industrial integration, uh, there, are, there is a competitive local industry for local development, for inclusive development and training and R&D for all the mastery technologies and qualification. The aim is to create an ecosystem contributing to the socioeconomic uh, development of the country by combining technologies to provide the best answers to identified needs, optimizing the cost of clean water and maximizing synergies. Uh, <coughs> the CSP has uh, several advantages than uh, PV on heads and uh, cold production, storage, electricity production, uh, then turbine, and it's also thermal and uh, thermodynamic, thermodynamic spot. 
there are different uh, technologies on the CSP. Three of the most relevant technologies have been selected uh, for small capacities projects are parabolic, parabolic trots. Uh, this, this is a, mit, a miniature technology, modular and low demand for material. Frenal re reflectors, it's a miniature technology too, is modular, better land use factor and using the shadow. And uh, there is also this design, which very modular, more adaptable to different types of, of relief and its technology is the most often used, 75% uh, of the projects worldwide. And finally, there is central towers and heliostas. Instead, uh, a study was carried out by EY and allowed to identify the sectors with high potential of the study was completed by field service of uh, industrialists in uh, textile and food industry. Uh, several processes uh, particularly suitable for the installation on a CSP, CSH system for the production and supply of heads. Each process remains specific and requires precise uh, demonstrating and and uh, a precise interval head requirement process. As you can see uh, in this uh, table, each process uh, in the industry have uh, a temperature edge. There is there there is some uh, example of projects uh, installed in Morocco. Uh, the first one is Copac, is a partial heating of cleaning solutions for a part of the diary is a power of uh, 15 kilowatt thermal of produced 112 uh, megawatt per year. It's a project uh, financed, financed by Mazen and Lajeide. The second one, it's uh, bigger than the first one, is uh, installed in Eight Baha Simon du Maroc. Uh, is a start power of 3.9 megawatt to produce one gigawatt per year. Additional production of electricity using uh, an organic fluid. The Moroccan industry today takes an important place in the national consumption of the energy. It's about 27% of the country. The industrial sector is a major consumer of the country's energy. Uh, today, process heat accounts for 75% uh, of industry's energy consumption worldwide and industry requirements for very diverse heat temperature, therefore very relevant for the CSP. As you can see, it's a breakdown of energy demand by sector in Morocco. As you can see in this graph, there is five prevalent industrial sectors in Morocco. The chemical industry, the non-metallical mineral products industry, the food industry, the textile industry, and the rubber and plastics industry. We're selecting and according to two criteria, the importance of the sector in Morocco and the adequacy in terms of uh, temperature between the needs of the processes and the production capacities of the CSP technologies. The analysts take also into account the needs of each sector in terms of temperature. A concluding diagram on the temperature requirements of selected in the industrial sectors are adapted to CSP technologies has been established. For low temperature, the classic solar collector is needed. For low medium temperature, the adapted CSP technology is small installation of parabolic reflectors of Fresnel linear ref or re Fresnel linear reflector. For high medium temperature, more than 250 degrees Celsius is dish designs and large installation of parabolic uh, or Fresnel linear reflector.
Different interviews were carried out to confirm the results of the analysis, uh, especially in uh, interviews with the project developers and local interviews with the Moroccan industrial to identify levers and barriers, especially in the textile, food industries like Cinematex in different regions in Morocco, especially Meknes, Fes, Spru, Casablanca and Barshid. The results of these interviews was very sharp and several barriers have been identified through the interviews. The first one was the low knowledge of the technology, no local offer for the installation of this type of system, return on investments too long, binding regulatory framework, low qualification of facility staff to manage these facilities, and investment cost too high, technical constraints of integration in the process. However, two main levers has been uh, identified. The financial assistance in the form of grants to reduce the cost of the initial investment for companies and reduce the time of return on investments. And also the implementation of pilot projects serving as uh, benchmarks to show companies the functioning of the different solution. This is a comparative uh, of uh, a study in order to, comp to compare different technologies that can be used to produce heat or electricity on the industrial seats. The methodology was based on three main criteria land footprint, CO2 reduction, and uh, levelized cost heat. For the CO2, for the, sorry, for the parabolic trot, it, it was a notation of 3.2, and for Fresnel, it's 2.9. This is a comparative of an analysis of the different technologies from the following graphs. We note that uh, the use of both technologies, parabolic and Fresnel, clearly reflects the reduction of land footprint and CO2 with a small difference in a quantity of heat produced. For other technologies, the land footprint and CO2 emitted are quite high compared to the quantity of heat produced. For biomass, the quantity of heat produced is important when the land footprint remains too high after the comparative analysis of the different technology. The conclusion is that the best technologies are uh, CSP technologies with a minimum land footprint and CO2 emission. As you can see, this table is the estimated uh, potential market and uh, economic and environmental benefits of, uh, of the CSP in Morocco and industry. Also, geography is also very important, is a very important criteria for uh, project profitability, uh, especially in where that there is a uh, 0% uh, variation compared to others. And uh, all this analysis showed that there is a real potential of small scale C, uh, concentrated solar heat in Moroccan industry. Today, the technology is mature and competitive. Uh, sure, biomass is still uh, more competitive, but uh, that's, they must overcome some barriers um, to be in full developed. Uh, especially final profitability is still a little low for industrial actor to accept to invest in a new and unknown technology. In fact, the cultural aspect is very important in Morocco and companies are reluctant to bet on a technology they do not know. This, uh, this trust is a major barrier of the development of CSP in Morocco. 
Uh, now I, I'm going to present the small grant program is a part of a program to support the development of uh, concentrating uh, solar energy expertise, uh, expertise and innovation in the MENA region. The solar cluster with support with uh, the World Bank launches the small grant program. The objective of uh, of this program is to select Moroccan industrials who will benefit from technical and financial support for the development of small-scale thermodynamic solar installations uh, adapt to their needs, heat and cold. Uh, the criteria of eligibility of this project is, uh, is uh, an industrial sector company in partnership with a developer and uh, the company uh, would be uh, registered in Morocco and, uh, and also uh, guaranteed to have a, diri a direct relationship with the entity in charge of selecting the small, small grant program. The project is, uh, is, is for uh, capacity installation less than 400 kilowatts. In this contest, the Moroccan Solar Cluster organized a seminar for the presentation of this program. This day allowed the official launch of the CSP call for projects and highlighted the, the training program around industrial CSP in Morocco and design offices. Following the, the induced CSP calls for projects, three projects we selected, including the project that is the subject of the financing agreement, which uh, Rabai University, with the collaboration with uh, Bituma. The select project is a parabolic uh, solar collector developed for process heat uh, or <coughs> in the commercial and industrial sector. This system can generate uh, thermal energy between uh, 60 degree and uh, 250 degree, uh, ideal for uh, process heat production in industries such as uh, hot water, steam generation or heating. To maximize the, the reduction of energy costs in the commercial and industrial uh, sectors and break uh, a reduction of, uh, of fuel used in boilers up to uh, 80%. The project is in the, prelim the, the preliminary phase and uh, of all the complete, the complete solution and he's waiting for the financing uh, of, the, of the World Bank. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Fatima, for your presentation. Now, if you could uh, stop sharing your screen, um, and then uh, we'll keep time for uh, Abdul Kader to get ready to present. So, Abdul Kader, whenever you want to start sharing screen and start presenting. Um, so, uh, there are a few questions in the Q and A box. So, um, we will get them uh, answered uh, towards the end of the of a webinar once uh, Abdul Kader has uh, given his presentation and uh, yeah I encourage you to pose your questions as well and um, you know, another uh, reminder as well that you will get the uh, slides and the video recording so um, never never fear. How, how are you doing there Abdul Kader? Have you found the uh, your presentation so you can yes, start sharing? I am waiting for you <laughs> okay, please. Um, okay, over, over to you, sorry. Okay, no problem. So, thank you, Carlos. So, uh, I will start my presentation giving you an idea about uh, our Tunisian energy balance. Uh, then I will present our national uh, objectives and uh, commitment uh, in the renewable energy and energy efficiency uh, field. And uh, I will speak shortly about our national final energy share 
with uh, a focus on industry. After that, I will talk uh, about uh, the World Bank program, MENA CSP KEEP, um, the CSH initiative, concert, so he concert uh, initiative in uh, Tunisia. And uh, before concluding, I will present to you the new energy transition fund, which is a new uh, financial tool to uh, support this kind of uh, project. In the beginning, uh, let me uh, say a few words about uh, Tunisia and about uh, the National Agency of Energy Conservation. Just uh, notice uh, that in Tunisia, we have one of the highest uh, electrification ratio in Africa, so 99% as the electrification ratio. And we have also 6,500 uh, factories and 900 hotels. So uh, for the National Agency of Energy Conservation, uh, the NMO was one of the first national agency in the region. It was created in 1985. And it is a public institution placed under the, the aegis of the Ministry in charge of energy. And uh, the animal's role is to implement the state policy for energy conservation uh, through promoting energy efficiency, renewable energies, and uh, energy substitution. So the Tunisian energy balance is characterized by a continuous deficit since the year 2000 reaching 4.9 million ton oil equivalent in 2018. That's mean that uh, we import 51% of our energy need in 2018. In the same time, we developed several program to uh, promote renewable energy until 2018. So we have until now, we have already more than 1 million solar thermal collected, uh, collector installed in Tunisia and uh, 62 megawatt PV connected, PV installation connected to the grid. Uh, that's mean about uh, 32,000 uh, houses with PV uh, installation connected to the grid in addition to a lot of off-grid uh, PV installation in schools, in houses, and also in uh, agriculture. But this is not enough because we have a huge potential of solar energy in Tunisia. We have a potential of more than 5 million square meters of solar thermal collector, and also we have a potential of 280 gigawatt of solar power generation. In the same time, we have a good experience in uh, developing a project to develop market uh, in renewable energy distributed technology like the ProSol program, which has been selected by the International Energy Agency program as one of the top five best national solar thermal policies in the world as part of the solar heating and cooling uh, solar world in 2017. That's why the Tunisian uh, government uh, make uh, objectives and commitment by 2013. And the first one is the uh, Tunisian solar plan approved by the government in July 2016. The, the uh, target of the Tunisian solar plant is uh, to have 30% of renewable electricity capacity by 2030. We will start from only 3% now to reach in 2030, 30%. That's mean to uh, install 3,800 megawatt in 2030, starting from almost 300 megawatt in 2016. This is an ambitious target and the heavy investment needed 
estimated to 14,000 million uh, dinner with almost 80% of, um, of this investment will come from private sector. For solar thermal sector, we have a goal to reach 3 million square meter in residential sector by 2030 and 350,000 square meter to be installed in tertiary and industrial sector by 2030 plus a target in energy efficiency to reduce the demand of energy by 30% in 2030. All these indicators lead me to speak about, of, uh, about our uh, national determined contribution uh, fixed and approved by the Parliament, Tunisian Parliament in October 2016 with the goal to reduce by 41% the Tunisian carbon intensity by 2030 with the reference of 2010. The energy sector in this, in this target is the largest contributor to the NDC goal with 73% of emission reduction. Now, if we speak about the national final energy share, uh, we can notice that uh, the industrial sector is the second consumer in Tunisia with 28%. But the most important indicator is that 78% of the industrial final consumption is heat. Is heat, yes, is heat, it's not electricity. Even if all people speak about uh, electricity production and photovoltaic, the most important potential is in heat. It is the same worldwide. In the final conception worldwide, we have 83% of the world uh, conception is heat and only 70% is electricity. So we have a Tunisian industry with more than 75% of thermal energy conception with a major use uh, in medium temperature and also we have an average of solar direct radiation in Tunisia with about 2000 kilowatt hour per square meter per year. That's why the Tunisian government uh, drew a target to install 150,000 square meter in industrial process heat. This is the uh, solar process heat national program in, to, in Tunisia until 2030. We uh, start with uh, the first project using solar thermal energy in industrial process with uh, a plant in uh, textile factory, Benetton, you know the Benetton uh, textile factory maybe, uh, with 1000 uh, square meter already installed and uh, it works uh, since 2018. But uh, this uh, plant is integrated to the washing process with, uh, with the low temperature. This plant will allow the uh, Benetton factory to save more than 1,500 ton oil equivalent. Because of the uh, huge potential uh, of uh, the use of solar heat in medium temperature. So we start with the support of the World Bank through the MENA CSP KEEP uh, program uh, in to develop uh, the concentrate, the use of concentrate solar heat in industrial sector in Tunisia. So the two main the two main uh, chapter in this program is the determination of the detailed potential of using CSH in the industrial branches of food, textile, chemical bricks, and paper industry in Tunisia. And the most important uh, uh, thing is uh, to identify uh, some of key CSH projects in Tunisia for small grant support. The approach adopted in the potential study, uh, the first step was 
to the selection of 130 manufacturer. So uh, this is a big consumer of energy. If you remember, we have in Tunisia 6,500 industrial with more than 10 employer, but only 300 of this uh, uh, industrial uh, network, only 300 consume about 8% of all the industrial uh, consumption. So we choose 130 manufacturers from the biggest uh, consumers from these 300 consumers. So the second step was the data collection and the preliminary study for 30 manufacturers from uh, bricks, sect activity branches, from paper branches, from uh, textile, from chemical and food industry. And after that, we, de we determined uh, the detailed potential that can be mobilized in all the industrial sector. And uh, finally, we selected two the two best cases where CSH can be implemented. So in these two cases, uh, which belong to uh, food industry, to dairy industry, and to textile, textile industry, we did already the site visit and data collection, and we are now doing the detailed feasibility study for these two industries. The result, the first results of the uh, potential uh, study carried uh, in the framework of MENA CSP keep demonstrate that there is a real potential confirmed of uh, 400,000 square meter that be, can be installed in, uh, in uh, industry in Tunisia with 85% of this real potential uh, that can use uh, CSH technology because uh, the, the process and the, the uh, industry uh, are working in a medium temperature. This is the uh, 30 uh, industry with a uh, medium temperature uh, working uh, between 120 and 400 uh, degrees C. So we can use uh, Fresnel technology or uh, parabolic draft technology to produce heat in these cases, so we can produce uh, heat directly with a, a direct steam generation uh, system, or we we can preheat water, or we can integrate directly to the right temperature to the process. So the criteria applied to choose these uh, two cases where we will uh, implement the solar process heat CSH uh, plant. Um, first of all, uh, the first criteria is to have an important part of thermal need. So, and also uh, the energy and all data availability. And when we apply these uh, two criteria, we select uh, the 30 sites, 30 industrial, uh, and uh, we collect the data to be sure that the operating uh, temperature should be between 120 and 400 degrees. And uh, we uh, visit the sites uh, to see how easy is the integration uh, possibility is in the network of, uh, of steam and the heat network of the company. And finally, uh, we check the available surface, the space that can accommodate the solar system of the needed uh, capacity. The result of this uh, selection uh, and the uh, application of this criteria was the selection of two companies, a uh, milk uh, factory called Delis Danoni in uh, Sidi Bouzid and the uh, textile uh, jeans company called Dini Motority in, uh, in Rasajbel in the north. So, so the idea is sim it's simple. And the technology is uh, mature. There is uh, more than 500 plants of solar process heat in the world. So uh, Denis Danone and Denim consume LPG and the oil. 
and with the solar uh, part of this uh, fossil fuel consumption will be switched to uh, solar. So we'll have, uh, as I said, solar fuel saver. So uh, uh, we select Dilis Danone and Dinim also because of their strong commitment to uh, our project CSH program. And they believe on this uh, technology. And we are now waiting uh, to the final result of the feasibility study to be the first industrials implementing CSH in uh, Tunisia. But to do this, we need money. We need a financial instrument. So that's why I will present the uh, new energy transition fund in Tunisia. This tool uh, created to stimulate the, uh, all the uh, renewable energy and energy efficiency action uh, in uh, Tunisia, and especially for our case, the CSH market. So uh, the industrial can have through the chapter two of this uh, energy transition fund, 30% of subsidy with a ceiling of 250 dinars and 70% of all <coughs> immaterials action. Or other, he, he can also have through uh, chapter three of this uh, FTE, 35% of investment as a loan with the ceiling of three, 50,000 dinar plus 10% of subsidy with the ceiling of 200,000 dinar plus the immaterial subsidies. But these are still and sufficient and sufficient to be attractive to uh, industries for this kind of project. That's why we need that MENA, CSP Keep and the World Bank support us to create a long-term and sustainable market for CSH technology with the financement, financement mechanism adapted to uh, our uh, industrial sector, starting from pilot project, capacity building action, communication action to reach our objectives. In conclusion, there is an important real potential of CSH in Tunisia, confirmed and detailed by the MENA CSP KEEP project. Steam is widely used as heat transfer with a medium temperature in Tunisian industry. Concentrated collector can produce steam, which can easily be integrated to the conventional energy infrastructure. Concentrated solar heat collector technology are available now at more than 250,000 ton oil equivalent of fuel and LPG, highly subsidized by the state and uh, with the cost uh, highest, with the highest cost than uh, natural gas, is used in several industrial branches. We can focus on this industry to increase the profitability and avoid the impact of the cheap price of natural gas as a first step. And uh, from 2022, when uh, we'll have in Tunisia the uh, real price of all near energy sources, uh, then we'll have already some projects and we can develop the CSH plants, if, plants even in a uh, natural gas zone. So we need uh, now to go to investment and pilot project to develop the market in Tunisia. That's what we are waiting from MENA CSP Keep. And uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Abdel Kader, for your presentation. Very interesting. Um, and um, as you probably have realized, we started seeing uh, questions coming through um, actually, Abdul Karim, if you could stop sharing the, the screen, and then the uh, members of the audience will be able to see us as we as we speak. Um, there are a number of uh, interesting questions as well, but I'd like to start with one of my own. So, what, based in your experience, so both of you have had uh, concentrated solar heat programs in your uh, countries, and what are the main barriers to uh, to these? Uh, to concentrate, to solar heat 
systems and how could they, uh, how could these barriers be removed? Uh, I'm going to answer you this question because the study uh, and the interviews with with industrials um, uh, answer this question is uh, the first the first barrier is the low uh, the low knowledge of of the technology uh, there is a low because it's a new technology this is um, a low knowledge of the technology we have to sensibilize uh, industrials of this technology and also the too long investment today there is a too long investment uh, and uh, also the, the investment is cost is too high Today, the CSP, the, the cost is too high for industrials to invest on. And also there is uh, some technical processes uh, that are, they are very, uh, very of integration that are, that are really constraining uh, for, for, uh, for the comp Moroccan companies. And also there is, uh, uh, there are, there, there is low qualification Today we have to qualify to have uh, more engineers and more um, more uh, project managers that in Morocco that uh, experts in uh, CSP technology. Right, um, and um, what kind of work have you? Uh, how do you think, uh, Fatima, that these uh, some of these barriers could be mitigated? Uh, for us, the, the program, uh, the, the small grant program, it's one of uh, our support. Uh, we support financially and technically uh, all industrials that uh, want to invest in this uh, in the CSP technologies. For the moment, the Moroccan Solar Cluster um, work hard on this program to uh, to evaluate this uh, this technology in Morocco. Thank you. Um, Abdul Kadr, you are uh, very, very quite there. I'm very close to the screen. So, uh, <laughs> any. Excuse me, because uh, <laughs> my laptop is really. Uh, I have a small, little, small uh, laptop. So, the, uh, to read the uh, question and to read the. Uh, the, 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 what is right in... Uh, oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's why I am close. Well, so, don't worry. I'll, I'll read some of the questions out loud. And um, do you... So, uh, Fatima identified some of the barriers that they have seen to CSH in Morocco. They included um, lack of awareness of the technology, uh, long payback periods, um, high initial investment, um, also lack of qualified uh, personnel. So. Are they, are they similar to the barriers we have found in Tunisia as well? Yes, it is, uh, in Tunisia it is almost uh, similar. So we speak about the investment. The initial investment uh, is really uh, heavy. So we have a, a barrier uh, linked to uh, this investment. And uh, we don't have a specific financial mechanism to uh, support the uh, implementation of the development of CSH uh, market. Also, we don't have the necessary uh, know-how and expertise. So uh, we need, the, the, as I say, um, uh, uh, capacity building activities. And uh, until now, one of the barriers is the high subsidy of uh, the uh, natural gas and uh, uh, other type of uh, energy. Uh, that's why uh, this uh, solar process heat uh, program is uh, developed uh, developed uh, slowly here in Tunisia. But uh, now we have um, the LPG price is uh, the real price of LPG applied in uh, Tunisia. So uh, the uh, the ton is about $500 and also for uh, fuel and for natural gas. Uh, so we have, a, we have a now discussion to have the real price uh, in the market of natural gas in Tunisia and uh, to cancel the subsidy 
by 222. Now the gas is subsidized by about 50%, uh, more or less. But uh, there is a, we are increasing the price of gas. Uh, so uh, in 2018, 2019, uh, we increase by about 50% the price of uh, natural gas in Tunisia applied to uh, industry and uh, hotels and we continue this strategy until uh, having the uh, real price applied in the uh, gas and the energy market in Tunisia. So at the same time we are looking to, uh, to uh, World Bank to support us to have a specific uh, small grant or specific program to support uh, financement and to support the market creation in uh, in uh, solar uh, concentrated heat in, in Tunisia, in industry in Tunisia. Thank you, uh, Abdul Kader. So we have a question uh, by um, Elena Quadras and, and she's asking precisely when you uh, remove the uh, fossil fuel uh, subsidies, how much will fossil fuel price prices increase and whether these price increase could uh, bring about, could make CSH more, a more viable, more competitive option for industry. Yes, yes. Mm, for, especially for natural gas, uh, as I said, it is uh, subsidized by about 50%. So uh, it will be the, the increasing, uh, the increase in the cost of natural gas will be uh, almost 50 percent but uh, uh, every year we will we'll, we'll have the real price of natural gas in the energy market starting from uh, 2022 this is the discussion that we have in uh, several uh, meetings and <clears throat> with uh, all the public operator uh, in the energy sector. And normally it will be applied. Okay, great. So let's move on to some of the other uh, questions we have uh, in the, uh, from the audience. So one of them um, is regarding the use of thermal energy storage. So when you have a look at the technology, and um, both of you, um, Fatima and Abdel Kado, you have spoken with um, a lot of industrial users. Have they mentioned that they need um, energy at a time when, uh, well, the, the sun is, is not shining and also is storage a viable option in the like short to medium term for uh, CSH in industry? Okay. Please. Yes. Okay. So for uh, energy storage, there, uh, there is two options. There is uh, some plants of uh, CSH, uh, concentrated solar heat with uh, storage and without storage. For example, if you have uh, direct, steam in, uh, direct steam generation, it can be directly integrated to uh, the steam network and uh, the regulation between the boiler and uh, the uh, solar energy can uh, produce uh, the fixed temperature and uh, uh, <coughs> and needed temperature and pressure that we uh, we need but uh, we can have it is it is recommended to have uh, <coughs> storage in the our solar uh, concentrated solar heat plant uh, in uh, direct steam generation, but we should separate the uh, the vapor, the steam to um, uh, separate the steam to the water <coughs> before uh, integrating to uh, the uh, steam uh, network. There is two other option uh, that can, where we can apply the. Uh, the uh, solar process heat plant, we can preheat the fitting water and in this uh, case we need the storage to uh, put uh, water preheated by solar and the boiler will take water from this uh, 
uh, water preheated by uh, solar energy. And uh, the last option is to integrate the, uh, the, the heat, the solar heat directly in the needed temperature and uh, parameter temperature and pressure directly to uh, the process. So, but uh, don't forget that uh, this is an additional cost. The storage will uh, will have with storage will have an additional cost by uh, almost twenty to thirty percent. I I think in this uh, CSH plant. That's why we need a simulation, uh, technical and economical uh, simulation with the storage and without storage to choose between the two, uh, the two uh, technical uh, solution. Thank you, Dr. Karel. Fatima, do you, do you want to say something? Yes, I'm, uh, I'm uh, totally uh, uh, with uh, Mr. Bakush. Uh, the CSP technology energy storage is uh, a form of heat which allows for uh, storage uh, capacities greater than those of batteries. And uh, a CSP plant can store the, the heat obtained by concentrated uh, uh, solar radiation in large tanks filled stored for several hours or of days and uh, can be turned into electricity when uh, the weather is cloudy or uh, during a peak of uh, consumption, usually at, uh, at dusk. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. We don't speak about electricity. It's not uh, molten salt uh, storage or storage to have a to produce electricity, it is a storage of uh, steam or storage of heat. So uh, that contain uh, preheated water or that contain uh, steam directly generated by uh, concentrated solar heat or indirect uh, generation if the, uh, the fluid, the thermal fluid will be oil, thermal oil. So um, that's a, a good point, actually. Um, going into, there are a few questions about, uh, you know, the internal rate of return, about the, the financials of these projects. And um, I think they could be summarized in, uh, in one question. So uh, what is the, um, it seems that the, the, well, one question, one issue, it seems that the payback time uh, period for these systems is longer than most companies are willing to, uh, accept. Uh, so, um, you know, how could you mitigate this? There are other industries where they have actually had business models where the uh, companies don't have to own the system, they could pay as you go. Um, is there anyone looking at um, trying to deploy a kind of similar business model in uh, Tunisia or in, or in Morocco that you know of? Okay. So for, for us, it is clear. So uh, the first results on the uh, two feasibility study conducted by uh, Fraunhofer is expert. Uh, this is the known and the demonstrate that if we don't have the support of uh, the World Bank and MENA CSP keep, we will have a payback time about uh, six to eight years uh, as a payback time period. So uh, in this case, we'll have only uh, the uh, support of the uh, energy transition fund. And it's not really attractive, but if we have the support of uh, MENA CSP keep or uh, other donors, uh, we'll have the, the simulation say that uh, we'll have almost three years as a payback time in these two uh, pilot uh, project. Okay, so uh, the payback time is uh, between three to eight years as a conclusion. Mm -hmm. And uh, the IRR is about 15% uh, to 18% uh, and more. Okay, and um, have you um, approached 
Um, there are various uh, international organizations that provide these kind of financing. Um, I'm assuming that you probably have approached all of them, right? Yes. So we start to, uh, to um, develop uh, some proposal uh, with the support of the World Bank to uh, SMAP line, for example. For example. But uh, also we'll, uh, we'll approach other donors to, uh, to, uh, to have uh, financial support and to uh, draw uh, a specific financial mechanism for, for this kind of, uh, of project. But we don't have until now the approval of any of these donors. Um, and uh, Fatima, I don't know if you'd like to add to uh, this, uh, this question on uh, you know, business models or uh, a way of mitigating mechanisms, one of which could be a concession of financing to uh, reduce uh, the payback uh, time of these projects and make them more palatable to uh, industrialists. Uh, as uh, Mr. Bakush said, uh, today without the support of the World Bank, uh, it's very difficult to, to have uh, projects on CSP technology with high level uh, return in investment. Today, uh, we need the support of, uh, of, um, of, all, uh, of all banks to, to invest in this technology. Right, well, thank you very much. I have, I see lots of questions still in the Q&A box, but I am afraid that we are, uh, we have run out of time, um, you know, so um, like all good things, this webinar must also come to an end. So I'd like to thank everyone in the audience and you, Fatima and Abdel Kader for sharing some time with us, letting us know, uh, you know what the situation is in, in your countries. Any um, parting words from, from you? Let's start with you, uh, Fatima. Uh, um, I want uh, to thank you of this uh, webinar. It was uh, very uh, interesting and uh, I really appreciate your invitation and uh, I hope that spectators uh, have uh, 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 some information uh, in uh, the opportunities of applications in CSP in Morocco. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fatima. Abdul Kader, any parting words? Yes. So I want to thank all the audience and I want to thank you, Carlos, and all the other staff. So um, I say that I am convinced and I believe the development of uh, concentrated solar heat. Uh, so um, I start working in this field since 2010 and uh, it's time to have uh, a long-term market in Tunisia and uh, I will never give up until we have this because uh, uh, if we look to uh, the uh, energy consumption share of the uh, industry the huge potential is in the heat not in electricity and we have a lot of solution uh, to uh, explore exploit this uh, huge potential and uh, to develop real wide uh, CSH market in Tunisia. And uh, thank you again for all of you. Thank you, Fatima, also. Thank you very much uh, to both of you. And uh, finally, uh, thank you to the World Bank's MENA CSP Kit yeah. program for making uh, this webinar possible and uh, to everyone in the audience. As you have seen probably in the chat box, we have another other webinars coming up, uh, which I hope you can also uh, take uh, part in. So, well, thank you very much. Have a good evening, a good morning, whatever you are, depending on where you are. Good evening, thank you. bye, goodbye. Thank you, bye.